Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you, Mr. Prime Minister, for the warm welcome and, again, my deepest thanks and appreciation to the people of Israel for their gracious hospitality. It is indeed a privilege to be here in Jerusalem on my first visit as Secretary of Defense, which was made even more special as I had the opportunity to visit the World Holocaust Remembrance Center. I was especially moved by the stories of the victims and the survivors. And to the Prime Minister's point, we must never forget their sacrifice, their heartache, and their loss. And may their memory be a blessing. And let it always be a solemn reminder of our duty to be ever vigilant against mass atrocities. Today, I was also grateful for the opportunity to meet with the Prime Minister to discuss a number of security issues that are important to our two countries. And I wanted to reaffirm the, the administration's strong commitment to Israel and to the Israeli people. And that's why I thought it was important that we meet face to face and to express our earnest desire for close consultations with Israel as we address shared challenges in the region. And I also wanted to underscore my personal pledge to strengthening Israel's security and ensuring Israel's qualitative military edge. The, the close and strong ties that we enjoy with Israel are central to regional stability and security in the Middle East, and we both agree that we must continue to work closely together to enhance the U.S.-Israel strategic partnership. And so we discuss ways to deepen and expand our long-standing defense relationship in the face of regional threats and other security challenges. And I affirm the, the Department's support for our ongoing diplomatic efforts to normalize relations between Israel and Arab and Muslim-majority uh, nations. Mr. Prime Minister, I'm grateful for today's discussion to advance shared defense priorities and, and maintain close cooperation between the United States and Israel. And I am confident that together we can chart a path toward enduring peace in this region and advance an open and stable order now and in the years ahead. Again, thank you so much for a wonderful two days, and I look forward to seeing you again real soon in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Secretary, and thank you all.